Tsunami of patience. That's how one doctor described the rush of people coming into his downtown Atlanta ER during this COVID-19 yeah, surge. It is a problem that frontline healthcare workers are seeing all across the U.S. Now, to deal with overcrowding, doctors want you to know when you need to go to the emergency room and when to stay home and call your doctor. Mandy Gaither has more. Busting at the seams, hospitals across the U.S. It's not a pleasant thing as a medical care provider to have to put patients in a tent. From Mississippi to Texas, a surge in patients as COVID-19 cases continue to climb, driven by the Delta variant. Our emergency room, like so many, are overrun right now. In Georgia, the emergency department at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta is not only dealing with COVID-19, but patients with other respiratory viruses as well. To help with overcrowding, doctors say know when to go to the ER, get emergency help if the patient has trouble breathing, difficulty keeping down fluids, changes in alertness or unusual trouble waking up, bluish lips or face, or persistent chest pain or pressure. However, they say stay home and get in touch with a doctor for a low-grade fever, fatigue, cough, congestion, or sore throat. We work to manage the volumes, but a continued rise in numbers will continue to push our capabilities. Frontline healthcare workers across the U.S. continue to urge vaccination, saying it's the best way to lower risk of hospitalization and death. I watched a 28-year-old previously healthy unvaccinated patient die from COVID complications. And while we value every life, that's, that one was tough because it could have been prevented. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. The health officials in Southern Oregon say due to the influx of COVID cases there, patients now have to be treated in hallways because there's just not enough space.